The appropriate technique for a cow horn is basically to get the gingiva out of the way. So you reflect your gingiva, buccal and lingual. Make sure that you can see the furcation of the tooth on either side. You're then going to use an underhand grasp and you're going to seat this way down into the furcation. So make sure that you're pushing on the top of here, get the forcep down between the roots, and you're going to have a bite block in place to give your patient something to support their teeth. You're also going to be holding under their jaw and pinching next to their tooth. And what you're going to do is you're going to pump this up and down. So you're going to squeeze as hard as you can, and you're going to be pushing downwards and lifting upwards, pushing downwards, lifting upwards. And sometimes you can even release the pressure at the top, maybe let it fall, go again, squeeze and lift. Maybe you're going to go the other way now, so you're going to squeeze and pull up and then let it fall back to the occlusion, squeeze and lift. And what you're doing is every time you're pumping this and squeezing, you're actually driving the beaks of this forcep down into the furcation of that tooth. When the tooth starts lifting or moving, what you're going to do is you're going to then apply some buccal rotation and hold it for about 10 seconds, a little bit of lingual rotation, hold it for 10 seconds, and then you can kind of do this figure of eight movement, and that tooth is going to lift right out. Now what you'll see in patients, and these teeth are a little bit different than what we see in the mouth, you will see that these beaks are basically buried in the furcation of that molar when you lift it out, sometimes so tightly that you have to kind of pry apart the forcep to get it off of the tooth.